cooling towers are commonly a part of thermal power stations and are the most recognizable feature of a nuclear power plant. Cooling towers are shell structures built of concrete in which hot water is allowed to cool. Thereby, thermal energy is released to the environment. The most well-known form is the natural draft wet cooling tower, as shown in this animation. Natural draft wet cooling towers can be up to 200 meters tall and are made up of a cold water basin, an air inlet near the bottom of the tower, spray nozzles and a drift eliminator. Other elements, such as tower packings, are also commonly used in order to increase efficiency. For clarity, however, these are not described here. Hot water is pumped to the spray nozzles. Natural convection draws cold air in from outside. The cold air cools the water. During this process about 2% of the water evaporates. This can be seen as plumes of steam. Natural draft wet cooling towers function according to the simple principle of the stack effect, also known as natural circulation. Since warm air is less dense than cold air, warm air rises due to buoyancy and escapes out of the upper opening of the tower. This leads to a self-preservation of the stack effect. In nuclear power plants, cooling towers are responsible for the cooling of cooling water, which is used to cool down the secondary circulation system. The advantages of natural draft wet cooling towers or low energy consumption, low maintenance requirements and a low service life.